Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing an empties video. I am still obsessed with these videos, so I hope you guys still like them. Uh, I have quite a few empties to show you guys today, so I'm just going to get right into it. Starting with hair care, I have two different hair masks that I've used up. The first being the Garnier Fructis Damage Eraser Strength Recon Reconstructing Butter. Uh, this smells absolutely amazing, but um, I don't think it actually did much to reconstruct my hair. Uh, and because of that, I probably won't be repurchasing this. It was okay, um, but it just wasn't amazing. Next up, we have the L'Oreal Oleotherapy Sulfate-Free Deep Recovery Mask. I really, really liked this in smaller, like, portions when my hair was a lot longer uh, and I really feel like this helped to moisturize the very like brittle mess that was my hair. Um, I used it a little bit on this haircut, not as much obviously because I don't need as much, but um, it definitely helped improve my hair when it was longer, uh, although it is better in smaller portions because this did tend to weigh my hair down and kind of make it go oily if I used too much of it because it is an oil-based hair mask, but it is very, very good. Next up, we have the Herbal Essences Naked Volume Shampoo and Conditioner. I used this right before I went uh, back to school and a little bit like on breaks and stuff. It has this beautiful smell. I'm obsessed with the way this smells. It's like white grapefruit and mint. It's super, super summery, but it definitely doesn't weigh my hair down. It gives, it makes it nice and clean. And I think I have more volume just because there's it's, def it's a volumizing shampoo and conditioner, but uh, because there's like no parabens and stuff, my hair feels better. This is the Herbal Essences Hydrolicious D-Damage Boost Shampoo and Conditioner. This stuff weighed my hair down like crazy. I could, uh, like as soon as I washed my hair in it, I could just feel like the buildup at my roots, even if I had just used like a clarifying shampoo. It didn't matter. This just built up in my hair so badly. So I will definitely not be repurchasing these. Next up, we have two of the Pantene clarifying shampoos. These are my favorite, well, this is my favorite clarifying shampoo. Uh, I have gone through like at least eight of these. Um, but yeah, they are really, really cheap and they get the job done very, very nicely. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what I would do without these, so I will definitely be repurchasing. Next up, we have two Batiste dry shampoos, a full size and then a little baby travel size. Uh, this one is in the floral and flirty blush scent. Uh, this is an okay scent. I just, I'm not really into floral. I thought I'd give it a shot. It's just not really me. Uh, this is my all-time favorite favorite scent of this. This is the original Clean and Classic. Uh, I just think this is the best one because I think it makes your hair smell fresh, clean, and not like super perfumey because I don't know. I just feel like if I'm gonna dry shampoo my hair, I don't want it to feel or smell like a bunch of perfume in it to like mask scents. I feel like this just smells like kind of shampooy and nice. So uh, yeah, that is definitely my preferred scent so far. I'm still working through the scents. Moving on, we have two Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Wipes. Um, obviously, these are in like every single one of my empties videos. I'm obsessed with these. I really don't ever try other wipes. Just because every time I do, I am never impressed. So leave a comment down below if you have any makeup wipes that you really like. Uh, because I'm kind of interested in trying new ones, even though like I don't really do that. But uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll find something else I like more. Next up, we have the Skin to Mint Skin Therapy Moisturizing Shave Gel in Baby Soft. Uh, this was fine. I think all of the Skin to Mint uh, shaving creams are basically the same. It's just different, like, scents and stuff. Uh, I didn't really notice that this was more moisturizing than anything else that I've ever used. So, I mean, I'll definitely be repurchasing Skin to Mint shaving cream, but I don't know if it'll be this one. <laughs> Next up, we have two of the St. Ives scrubs. This one is the Apricot Blemish Control, which I've used a billion times. 
and this is the Blackhead Clearing Green Tea Scrub. I love both of these for different reasons. Obviously, this one is a lot better for like acne, and this one's better for blackheads, which is something that I have definitely been struggling with lately. This has a very different texture. It's a lot fine, or it's a lot like more of a moderate, yeah, moderate rather than deep exfoliation level. Um, it's kind of squishy, I don't know, it was kind of weird because I've used this for so long, but this definitely helps with your blackheads. If that is an issue you have, I would say definitely go pick this one up. It was a nice change from this because I've gotten this a million times, so I would definitely repurchase both of these. Next up, we have the Crest 3D White Radiant Mint Toothpaste. This is not my all-time favorite version of that, of this toothpaste. It's the Brilliant White or something like that. Um, it's in a white tube, but this was fine. It's toothpaste, I feel like. If it's not, like, amazing, it's kind of just toothpaste, and that's kind of just what this was. I mean, I have, like, three more of these because I bought, like, the BJ's pack. But, uh, yeah, so this was okay. Another weird product. This is the Secret Scent Expressions Passion de Tango Invisible Solid um, deodorant. I no longer use Invisible Solid deodorants. I use um, like the gel formula. I think it leaves less marks on my clothes and I just like it a little bit more. I also am not like a super huge fan of scented deodorant anymore. I feel like it just kind of is unnecessary. So yeah, I probably won't be repurchasing this. Next up, we have two of the Bath & Body Works uh, shower gels. This one is in Waikiki Beach Coconut and Tahiti Island Dream. I liked both of these, but as usual, I like to mix up the scents of my shower gel, so I probably will not be repurchasing these particular scents. Next up, I gave Birchbox one final shot, I think in September, at the very beginning of September, and uh, this came in that, and this is the Taka Toka Giolita Pink Tulip and Green Apple Nourishing Body Scrub. This was nice. Um, I think the full size of this, I can't remember how much it was, but it's just, it's not worth it. I really like the um, Soap and Glory Scrub of Your Life because it has the shower gel and the body wash, or the body scrub. This is an extra, extra, this is an extra step compared to that, and I just... I can't justify paying that much for a body scrub when I could get something so much cheaper that kind of does two in one and I like them both equally like in the way they exfoliate. So I probably will not be repurchasing this. Next up, I have about a couple more uses out of this. This is the Murad Clarifying Cleanser. Um, I really, really like this. I have recently rediscovered my Clairsonic and this just works wonders with that. So I definitely think I will be repurchasing this because it's just the best cleanser I've used in a really long time and I would definitely recommend it. Uh, it has 1.5% salicylic acid treatment or acid acne treatment in it and uh, I just think that really works for my skin. It can tend to dry me out a lot so I try to use like a lot of moisturizer or um, a nice light oil, but it's definitely good for my acne. Next up, I have two of the Glam Glow masks in these little ones. Um, this is the Youth Mud, and this is the Super Mud Clearing Treatment. <sighs> these are like $70 in full size, and I have a full size of the hydrating one because I got like a little like set for Christmas, but I just don't think they're worth that much. I, after using these, I ended up buying the Origins Charcoal Mask, and it's like $25, and it basically does the same one, same thing this does, but it's a lot cheaper, so I just, I don't think I will be repurchasing these. These just aren't as amazing as the price tag would insinuate they are. Next up, I have two perfumes. I have been trying my best to use up all the perfume that I have because I have quite a lot of fragrance and it's just kind of impossible for me to use. So I've been kind of like weeding out what I like, what I don't like, what I would repurchase, what I really don't need anymore. Um, and the first one is this Dot by Marc Jacobs. This smells great. I really like it. It's just not my all-time favorite. I get a lot of compliments when I wear it and stuff. It just doesn't feel like me when I put it on, so I won't be repurchasing this one. This next one I will be repurchasing. However, this is Turquatic by MAC. Um, this is just a little one. It's like $30, I think. 
I love this. I think it smells amazing. It's very, very different from anything else that I own. And I just, I don't know, I just really like the way this smells. So I will definitely be getting this soon. Next up, we have another MAC Empty. This is the Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Light Plus. I have used the crap out of this in the past year. Basically, I use it with a primer and use it as a medium coverage, like, foundation. I love it. I think it's absolutely amazing. It's super easy, and I'm really missing this, so I need to go out and repurchase it because... I just really, really like it. Next up, we have the Laura Mercier Flawless Skin Tone Perfecting Eye Gel Cream. This is a sample from Birchbox, and it is such, like, a huge sample. It's, like, 0.17 ounces, and it just went on forever and ever and ever and ever. I really liked this, this for wearing under concealer. I feel like a lot of my eye creams are too heavy to wear under concealer, and they kind of make it look cakey or just, like, crease a lot. And this didn't. It was just lightweight enough, but moisturizing enough, and I absolutely loved it. But it's like $60 full size, so I don't really know. I would love to repurchase it, but I don't see myself doing that in the near future. Next up, I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in Ash Blonde. I love this. I have another one. I think my new one's in taupe, though. It's a little bit darker, so I don't know. I might go back to the blonde. But I really, really like this. This lasted me forever. Everybody complains that there's, like, goes out really fast. But, like, this just kept on going. So, uh, yes, I will keep on repurchasing these because I absolutely love them. Next up, we have the Maybelline Line Stiletto Ultimate Precision Liquid Eyeliner. Um, I think this, like, dried up before I could really get all of it. But, um, yeah, it was decent. It's a good drugstore liner. I have a lot of high-end uh, liquid liners that I need to get through, and I definitely prefer gel liner. But um, this would be a good one if, like, I run out and need one. But, you know, it's nothing, like, spectacular. Last but not least, I have four mascaras. I have my Benefit They're Real. This is my Holy Grail mascara. Nothing I have yet to try has come even close to this. I am absolutely in love with this, and I will continue to repurchase. Next up, we have my other Holy Grail mascara. This is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher in Waterproof. It is my everyday setting. Like, no matter what mascara I use, I set it with this because it just keeps my mascara on and I absolutely love it and I think this is like my like 12th tube. I absolutely love this. Next up we have the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes in a little bit baby form. Um, this is definitely my second favorite high-end mascara that I've tried. Um, it's nothing, it's not enough to make me like automatically go to it when I run out of mascara but it's like enough where I get excited when I get given these so yeah they're great. And lastly, I have the CK1 Mascara in black. I think that's, yeah, just CK1 Mascara. Um, I got this for free on my birthday last year from Ulta as, like, a little birthday gift. It's kind of cool. I didn't show you the wands or the other ones because I feel like it's pretty, it's pretty well known what they look like. But, like, it has this little thing on the top that, like, expands it and then, like, brings it down. I don't know. I thought that was really cool. Um, this sat in my collection for like a year unopened and then I finally got around to using it. Um, it's okay. I probably won't be purchasing it, but you know, it's nothing terrible and it's kind of cool with the little like toy at the end of it. So there you have it. Those are my empties. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment, like, subscribe, all the normal stuff, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.